women are on the Commission of Women, on the Commission of the Status of Women. And uh, I am absolutely not happy with Hillary staying, hiding behind the drapes. If she's going to win this, this election, she is going to have to speak up. She's going to have to open up about a lot of things. Including well, you, well, you know and I know that there are many Democrats who are already very much enamored of Donald Trump. You know that. I'm aware of that. Well, but why? Why are so many Democrats, since you're on the line, and you're not really a guest, but you're an intelligent uh, listener from the other side of the aisle, why are so many Democrats enamored of Donald Trump, in your opinion? For the same reason I listen to you. He's uh, crazy brave. He's oh, he's crazy. He's a, why must you put the word crazy in front of men you respect? Isn't that rather sexist? No, it's not. Not at all. It's that you're... Well, you, you say he's crazy brave. What do you mean crazy? What's crazy about Donald Trump? He says things automatically. He does. There's no filter, just like you, Michael. There is absolutely... Well, no right, but why does that make us crazy? You mean honesty is you mean honesty is considered crazy to a Democrat? No, not at all. But how often have you seen anybody looking to run for the presidency of the United States talk like he talks? Okay, and, oh, so now so now apply it to your, your your favorite talk show host. You listen to me, even though you don't you don't ever agree with me ever. Of course, I do. I agree with you, you a lot, Michael. There's things you you don't think that this world is threatened by Islamo fascism. That unless they're snuffed off the planet, we'll all be a slave to them within our lifetimes. You don't think that's a real threat? I don't know. That's I, because you haven't read it in the, what in the San Francisco Chronicle because Willie Brown hasn't published it. You don't know what they're doing in the world. You don't know about the enslavement of young girls, the kidnapping, the rapes. That doesn't bother you as a woman. Of course I do, Michael. Absolutely I do. But okay, so but that's why you listen to me. Because maybe you get information from this show that you can't get anywhere else. I don't know. Exactly what I get. That's All right, but I don't, I don't think you need to call Donald Trump crazy because he's brave. I don't think you need to call him crazy because he's smart. I don't think you need to call him crazy because he believes in America's borders, language, and culture. Why is that crazy? I guess compare, compared to what Obama's doing, it is considered crazy. Because it's unique. It's unique. All right. It's different. Yes, it's different in a world of prepackaged uh, answers to questions. I agree. The debate devolved into that when they said, who would you put on a, on a dollar? Who would you put on a coin? Uh, who's your favorite woman? I started to cringe. I couldn't take it. Then it became so boring. It was frightening to listen to Jake Woodpecker do a thing like that. She, back in December of 14, there was an article. Why is Hillary Clinton hiding, Kim? Why, as a Democrat, why is she hiding from debate? Tell me why. Because she thinks she's got it in the bag. You don't think she has something to hide? Yeah, she's got something to hide, but that's not why. She thinks she's got it in the bag. She's got the whole infrastructure and, and an army of people that, in fact, did you know that uh, Bernie Sanders actually uh, came out and said that uh, she, she attacked him? by using some of her minions. She's got a huge infrastructure. No, we understand she owns the machine, but we understand what a machine is. It's a corrupt machine. And don't you think that there are many Democrats who will not vote for her precisely because they know that she thinks the fix is in and they, uh, that she owns them? Don't you think many Democrats are resentful and will will publish a uh, will will post a uh, an opposition vote for any Republican but her just to say go to hell, don't take me for granted? As a Democrat, I think she needs to get off her butt. I think she needs to address us. I think she needs to be candid and genuine, or she will not win. I don't know who. Well, she that's is. what I'm saying. But wait, but now you're agreeing with me. She owns the machine, and she may, in fact, have the candidacy in her hands. But that doesn't mean she's going to get the election, does it? Doesn't. And as a Democrat, what's left of me that's Democrat? I, I can't help it. It's my, I, I vote for Democrats. I want, to, I want to support them. I'm not convinced I'm going to vote for anybody. I'm not convinced I'm going to stay a Democrat. These things are all in flux. If she wants to keep the machine going, if she wants to win, she needs to change and stop assuming our vote. Okay. Well, I, I hear you. I'm not here to change your mind. And we'll have to see how it all plays out. But I think she's taking a big gamble here on playing the Soviet tactic of no debates. 
And I think hiding behind that vile fish mouth of uh, Debbie Vasa woman Schultz, who was possibly one of the most unattractive human beings she ever could have picked as a... How could your party pick a, a woman like that as their representative? Can you explain that to me? How could a lowly Florida big mouth like her be suddenly so prominent in the Democrat Party? What does that say? Because she's adorable. The women in Florida absolutely love her. They were... Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, hold on. Which, which women in Florida? They're more important than the women in New York or the women in Wisconsin, the Democrat women? I don't understand what you're saying, Michael. I'm saying, why would they pick someone as distasteful to listen to and look at as this Jewish fish mouth, Debbie Vasa woman Schultz? She's a stereotype. Why would they pick her to represent the DNC? How many times has she been reelected? Who? Debbie Wasserman. Yeah, but where? In a, in a place where there's corrupt voting? The land of the hanging chad? Where people vote three times and in New York as often as they can? Where doesn't that happen? You saying California's voting is fair and honest? Are you joking? There is no voting in California. There is no vote in California. It's a predetermination. It's a All right. Well, look, she doesn't have your vote is what you're saying. Let's go back to the bigger question is why should we support Israel? WJR, Ed, please explain why America should support Israel. Um, Israel is our proxy in the Middle East, astride uh, 70 percent of the world's known oil reserves uh, in one of the most volatile and dangerous places where there's virulent anti-Americanism and anti-Western values. Uh, running amok. And also no, wait, we have, we have the, wait, sir, with all due respects to your statement, it's a little outdated because America right now has the ability to export oil. There is so much excess oil right now in America from fracking that we could export it, and Obama prohibits us from exporting oil. Do you know that? Yes, but oil is a single market. If you lose the Middle Eastern oil market, then the price will skyrocket. It doesn't matter how much America exports. But what do you mean by lose the Middle Eastern market? I'm not following you. Well, uh, if, for example, Israel. because of Israel, uh, we don't have a nuclearized um, Middle East. If, if, Israel, if, if not for Israel, Iraq would have had a nuclear bomb, and also Syria would have one. And we know Iran has nuclear capability thanks to Obama. So Israel is the thorn. They're on the, is the flank of political military Islam. If not for Israel, Europe would be under siege from two fronts, one from the south, from uh, military, political military Islam, and then from the uh, east by Russia. So Israel... Well, you know, listen, your argument for me would have more validity if I saw Israel fire one shot uh, in, in this war against ISIS, but they haven't done so. Why not? Well, I believe what they're doing is they're, playing, they're allowing both of those sides to attrit each other. I think we should do the same thing. We should, it might be a good thing to supply both ISIS and uh, any any of our adversaries over there uh, covertly uh, uh, provide them arms so they'll kill each other. And Well, we are supporting the rebel groups in Syria. In fact, Obama spent $500 million and he produced five soldiers for $500 million. That, that's your commander in chief. Can you believe that? He spent a half a billion dollars. They stole the equipment and killed the uh, so-called opposition in Syria. That's the commander in chief. Barack Obama. We'll come back to talk about why should we support Israel, if at all, on the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. Weather update for Jerry Brown, the Pope, and Barack Obama. A day after Obama gave a speech about global warming, saying that the Sierra Nevada mountains had the lowest snowpack in 500 years, which unto itself is ludicrously false, uh, it snowed in the Sierra Nevada. Here in the Bay Area, all of the global uh, warmists were making it. There's more money in warming than there is in heroin. You hear that there's a lot of money in illegal drugs, and I'm sure there is. But I understand that there's more money now and it's safer uh, to get into the, into the warming industry than it is to bring in drugs. That if Pablo Escobar was an American, he wouldn't be smuggling uh, cocaine into America in this day and age. He'd be lining up for one of the green energy uh, grants, producing a solar uh, factory, uh, a solar plant in the middle of nowhere, producing one kilowatt. 
along the lines of Obama spending $500 million to produce an army to topple uh, Assad, an army now that consists of five people, and all the equipment is gone, taken by the enemy. Where's the $500 million that uh, Solyndra took? I know the FBI investigated, but we never uh, heard a follow-up on that investigation. Answer, Pablo Escobar. You get the picture. It's corruption. And, you know, people say, where's this going to go in a few years? It's never going to stop. It's never going to stop. It's a machine. It's so corrupt that it's almost impossible to stop it. They're going to continue the big lie. Lowest snowpack in 500 years. The next day, God rains snow down upon the Sierra Nevada. L.A., now you're going to see mudslides coming. Then you're going to have the El Nino, wet winter, mudslides. They're going to say it's because of global warming. Whichever way you turn, Jerry Brown, the Pope, Barack Obama, and the other know-nothings will tell you it's global warming. That's the new game because that's where the money is. That's all. So we can go on to these topics if you'd like. I can't wait till the Pope gets here. I can't wait for that fest. It's sickening what happened to this country, that they'd invite a Pope to speak to Congress. It's an, it's, it's an embarrassment. It's never, ever been done before. But the communist revolution is so complete that they dare do it. You're going to tell me Boehner is going to object? Or McConnell the gobbler is going to object to this violation of the separation of church and state? Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. So the uh, debate last night is certainly on everyone's mind, and uh, Huckabee is uh, a, a darling of the evangelicals. And he was attacked by a, a female commentator who was a conservative who said, how many effing Jews are there in the world? Uh, that they would constantly refer to Israel in these debates. And that set off a firestorm. So it leads us to the question today on the Savage Nation, a national radio program, if you don't know what you're listening to, with a huge following, of why should we support Israel? More particularly, why should leftists be pro-Israel rather than anti-Israel, which they should be, by the way. But I want you, the audience, to call and tell us why. The real reasons why. FTL. Fort Lauderdale, Judy, you're first up. Why should we support Israel? Well, like you say, Dr. Savage, follow the money trail. It's monetarily. Uh, since 1967 until the present time, uh, the $3 billion that, Israel, uh, that the U.S. gives Israel comes back to the U.S. I would estimate now about $150 billion in scientific, technological, and intelligence information. In fact, in the 1980s, Chief of Air Force Intelligence, General Keegan, said that at that time, $3 billion came back to us as $9 billion. So go figure how much it is now. But wait, wait, sir, what do you mean came back to us in terms of intelligence? Yes, absolutely. Intelligence. Yeah, well, uh, you mean we have, we have such intelligence that we, we can't defeat ISIS? Well, we could defeat ISIS, but uh, but let me tell you that uh, well, that's that's Barack Obama's problem. I mean, but uh, but yeah, I well, that's that I agree with you. Our commander in grief definitely doesn't want ISIS to go down. But right. you know, I've said this before, and I think it's been confirmed, Judah, that I'm sorry to tell you, Israel also was per permitting ISIS to rage across the Middle East for their own uh, political reasons. They also want Assad uh, thrown down. Uh, on that, I respectfully disagree with you because, remember, even though... No, 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 wait a minute. I, let me finish why I say it. I'm not just doing it to be controversial. Assad and Iran support Hezbollah, which is Israel's enemy. So, therefore, they would like to take down Assad in order to weaken uh, Hezbollah. What you're saying makes sense, but you've got to remember that uh, since uh, Israel occupied, well, I don't say occupied, they liberated the Golan Heights, they are only within a few kilometers of Damascus. So Assad has never been a problem for uh, for Israel. Yes, it's true they support Hezbollah, but uh, there hasn't... Well, all right, I, I hear your point. I don't agree with it. I don't think we get back financially what we give them. That That's, that's a problem. The fact is that if you want, if you're a human rights uh, individual, there's a good reason to support Israel. It's the only nation in that whole area that supports human rights, irrespective of what the left has tried to say about Israel. 
You have to look at the reality rather than the lies that are coming out of the left, especially the campus leftists. They say.